Hi, I'm Adam from Confluent. In this module, we're going to try our hand at denormalizing some event streams. When producing an event stream, it's important to consider how your consumers will resolve relationships within the events. In a normalized model, you may find that data your service needs is spread across different events in different event streams. You would then need to resolve the relationships by performing a series of stream-based joins to obtain the data you need for your system. In contrast, denormalized event streams tend to be easier to use for consumers. They do not have to query other streams or state stores to get the data they need. Denormalized streams typically come at the expense of additional pre-processing by either the producer of the event or by creating a purpose-built process to join the data together after the fact. In either case, KSQL DB provides the capabilities for you to resolve any stream joins you need to make for your application. In this hands-on exercise, you will use KSQL DB to denormalize several event streams that mirror the upstream relational model of an event source by resolving the foreign key joins. You will start by creating the brands, tax status, and item dimension two tables, and populate them with events. Next comes the process to denormalize the tables. You will first join the items table with the brands table. You will then join the new items and brands table with the tax statuses table. The exercise concludes with steps to verify the behavior of the new enriched items denormalized table. First, you will insert sample data into the items, brands, and tax status tables and verify that the data makes its way to the enriched items table. Then, you will update a row in the brands table and verify that the updated brand name appears in the enriched items table. And there you have it. We've denormalized items, brands, and tax statuses together into a single enriched item event.